It's cuffing season and all the girls need a reason. I need a big boy. Give me a big boy. I want a big boy. Let's see here. Kanye West. Despite a sabotaged album release True. along with major competition from the Super Bowl halftime headliner okay. and also one of the most powerful names in all of music. Oof. Kanye West and his new album Vultures has officially become the most popular thing in the music mm -hmm. world and in a time Facts. where everything was set up for Ye to fail. What this means for the music industry may end up changing it forever. Now as Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign's collab album Vultures 1 sold 148,000 copies in one of the most competitive weeks for the music industry in quite some time. Okay, Between decent the numbers. he was on and all of the promotion and press he got from streaming platforms, brands, and the Super Bowl itself. Everything was set up this week for Usher to make his grand return oh, to the course. spotlight with his new album coming home and despite having the biggest marketing machine that a musical... Loki, Usher is good. He is good. He is. You know, you gotta put some respect on Usher's name, but I do not think that he beat out Kanye West artist can have behind him. Usher didn't even come close to rivaling Aww. Kanye in his new album. This is even crazier when you consider that Apple funded the halftime show and did absolutely everything in their power to promote his new record and push it for Super Bowl weekend and well- Yeah, it just goes to show if you can make her come, she'll come back to you. Uh, Usher got maybe the most promotion we have ever seen uh. from a streaming platform. Kanye got absolutely nothing. <laughs> now, Ye didn't just receive zero promotion from Apple, but he was Easy even deleted me. and removed from the charts on oh. both Apple Music and iTunes, Jesus. not once, but twice, and despite these major setbacks, Vultures has stood as the biggest album in the world, and oh. this is scaring major labels and streaming platforms as it could change the music industry forever. Now, yeah, the reason because Kanye is so powerful, now they have to second guess everything that they're doing. And they have to observe Kanye and they have to try to figure out how they can trap him because, you know, the people we can't talk about, they control the whole system, right? And now this guy's going rogue and he's releasing an album that is getting taken away from Spotify, put him back, take him. And still with with all of that, with all of that, he's still bringing in the decent numbers. Kanye is he's a problem that will never get solved. I'm a problem that'll never, ever be solved. Why this record is putting fear into the industry is because Vultures 1 is an entirely independent album, mm. meaning that no part of the music industry has any control Bruh. or stake in it, and while independent artists and albums are nothing new, having one of the most popular artists in the world being free of all label control Oof. and still seeing the highest sales debut of 2024 goes against everything that the music industry's business model works so hard to control mm. artists with. Now, while it seems like at this point people either love or hate Kanye West, no matter how you feel about him personally, it's more important than ever to understand how such a monumental moment in music is about to turn the tides for all artists and in the greater sense, impact the industry in ways that we have greatest artist of all time never seen before. So with Vulture, but not even Michael Jackson pushed it as far as Kanye West did. We're not like even Prince got killed, Michael got killed, but Kanye, bruh, Kanye. The, the demon, the Chicago demon. Shit. Labels are terrified right now of what Kanye has done because it proves that at the end of the day, an artist can very well become more powerful than the machine that tries to control them. What I find most infatuating about the release of Vultures is that at every single corner possible, there was something right in Ye's way trying to plunder the success of the album mm. and despite all the obstacles it faced, the record managed to overcome everything and rise on top. <laughs> we were really at the point where Kanye's own ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, was promoting uh, Usher and bro. his new album. Jesus, does he have a f***ing plum in his hands? Oh God, look at that, Kim Kardashian, bro, Kim is a snake. She went back to Balenciaga. Allah, uh, she went back to Balenciaga after everything. After the, I'm not supposed to say the, the words. She went back and now she's an ambassador for that P word corporation. Jesus. And she's got kids. Imagine that. 
album over the record with her own daughter featured uh. on it, and this didn't do a thing to harm Ye. It's absolutely maddening because from Kim Kardashian all the way to the Super Bowl, everything was set up in a way that would have blocked Kanye West from getting any word out that he even had. Kanye went against Beyonce, Usher. He, he's like Thanos right now because it's the thing with Kanye is like this, right? I think he had to learn specific things to become the artist that he is, you know? Just imagine Kanye created this album all by himself, beats everything all by himself. And then he became number one when everyone, everyone was against him. Everybody had a new album and by Ugh. doing this somehow it only ended up making him more successful whether this was little things like not showing kanye on the celebrity cam at the super bowl mm. and then the media trying to label him as an outcast at the game after the fact or more significant setbacks like apple music cleansing vultures one and its chart data multiple times this week Everything that was done to keep Kanye out of the limelight only put more eyes on him to the point where he now has the highest first week sales of an independent album ever. Whoa. Even with no promotion or radio play, Kanye's track with Rich the Kid and Playboy Cardi Carnival was able to stay on top of the charts over Beyonce and her new single that dropped on Super Bowl Sunday with an entire ad, Texas Hold'em, which speaks even more volumes to the type of impact Kanye is making as he's outperforming who many would call arguably the biggest star in all of music. So with Kanye taking on Usher and Beyonce on top of being blacklisted and defeating all the odds, the music industry is horrified because for once an artist has shown them that they are not indispensable. With all the marketing dollars thrown at uplifting Usher and leveraging the Super Bowl to push his grand comeback as they tried to get him his first number one album in over Ugh. a decade, along with wanting Beyonce to sweep the- Bruh, no one gives a damn about these artists. We don't care about Usher. We don't care about Al Usher and Alicia Keys twerking Alicia Keys twerking on Usher bro. we don't give a damn we want the music and I mean Carnival was a good track I have to I have to give it to Kanye Carnival was a good track which other tracks did I like the first track I thought was pretty good the rest the rest of the album is garbage but what is okay I would say maybe what there's two maybe three tracks on the album which I really really like which I'm like okay he's he's performing it's like watching Lionel Messi in his prime and he's like hitting the post he scores maybe twice in that match but he hit the post maybe like four to five times you know like he's almost there he's 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 almost there but yes of course Vulture's just had a lot of mistakes it's not it's far from a perfect album it's maybe what I would say Kanye's worst album but even Kanye's worst beats everybody or at hot 100 and earned an easy number one hit with her song that was part of a joint ad with verizon all of this was thrown out of the window by kanye west and many artists are taking notice of just how successful he's been able to be on his own now despite all of the backlash and even lawsuits that Ye has seen since dropping vultures this album is already shaping up to be one of Ye's more successful ventures simply because of one and one thing only ownership where before kanye would sink so much money into building experiences around albums like donda and the life of pablo yeah. and never actually reap the rewards as labels took their cuts of the records once they were released on digital streaming platforms with vultures kanye is handling all the business himself while this definitely adds a heavy degree of risk that Ye never had before it's already shown to be quite successful for him as between the record itself and the ecosystem of experiences and products that he's built around it kanye is showing that artists do not necessarily need labels to find success and that all they actually need is to bet on themselves True. whether you love or hate kanye he is paving the way to demonstrate that artists don't need massive marketing budgets to announce the release of a new single or an entire halftime show to push an album but in actuality all artists need to do is empower their fans and deliver wow. an experience that they all you need is god all you need is the spirit. All you need is to be connected with them. That's it. Just be connected. Just be a human being. Just just be on Cat Williams side. Yay side, right? Just be on God's side. I don't give a damn. Like sometimes just close your eyes and just say, I am going to do it. Doesn't matter if the world says no. Doesn't matter if this girl disses me. Doesn't matter. I'm going to do it. Bruh, he closed his eyes and say, I'm going to 
push reality. It's just like when Superman gets pushed down by the world engine and he's standing there and you're like, it's impossible. No man can do this. No man can, can be pushed so much gravity, but he is standing there. And he's like, you know what, today I'm going to push reality and I'm going to destroy this world engine. And he just lifts off and bam, everything explodes. But he stands there as he's holding his hand towards the sun and recharging. He can't resist. Well, Kanye is doing this on a scale that only somebody of his size and creative prowess could. He's prowess. made this era of his career so infatuating oh for fans God. as he's popping up all around the world doing concerts and listening events, selling merchandise for only $20, and also keeping listeners intrigued and excited by still promising that two more albums are coming in the following months. While an artist like Usher tried to leverage the nostalgia of his old hits and the halftime show to try to make you believe that his new album was worth checking out, Ye was busy immersing listeners into a world yeah. that whether you love or hate him, you cannot deny is more entertaining than anything else the music world is offering right now. We have never seen an artist the size of Kanye announce that they are releasing three albums in three months or put their merchandise that once costed a fortune down to the low price of $20 and in a time where a lot of music is getting boring and fans feel like they are being scammed by artists because of crazy ticket and merch prices, it shouldn't even be a surprise why Ye is so successful right now. While some are trying to theorize how Kanye can be so successful at this point in his career, at the end of the day, the unprecedented defeat he has given to the music industry is simply a product of him pushing his career forward in a way that may not be as groundbreaking as it was before, but is still more exciting and rewarding for listeners than anything else is. So overall, as Kanye stands this week as the man who defeated the music industry and labels try to do damage control over everything that occurred after the independent release of Vultures 1. What Ye pulled off should be very eye-opening to not just fans and the industry, but most importantly artists themselves, as no matter if you are just starting out or you're one of the biggest superstars in the world, yeah. there's something possibly career-changing that you can learn from what Ye just did. Now while smaller artists don't have the budget or fan base to pull off what Kanye has done on the scale that he did, just what connect. everyone should be taking away is that between the consistent self-promotion on social media and also the live events, no matter what your size is, it's clear that we are in an era where you don't need to perform at the most Yeah, but keep it simple stupid. Just keep it simple You know, I I don't think like I Don't think anybody else can do what Kanye is doing right now, honestly, but I think that there are a lot of people which can be Similar Similar in the sense like let's say for instance if you're a nerd and you just lean into that you're like Neon, neon, just lean into that because people can smell the bullshit from a mile away. And I'm just like, just stop trying to be other people, stop trying to fit in, stop, bro, just, just be yourself, be yourself, and let the world adjust to you. Stop this, like, oh, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna, bro, why? Please accept me. Oh, I want to I want to come to your party your party. I have my own party I'm I'm at home here just having a good time. So yeah, that's that's how I view it at least Televised event of all time to be successful and all you need to do is cater to the people who already have some sort of interest in you And mm. build hype through the direct networks that you control yourself Artists have the ability to become bona fide stars and pass through all of the noise in the industry that is blocking them just by marketing their talent through their own social media pages, and I don't think people are utilizing this in a way that is as powerful as it could be. Now, also building on this, for the biggest artists in the world, after seeing Kanye pull off what he did, I think while many won't admit it yet, a lot of people in the industry are definitely thinking about all of the chances for further career growth and more importantly, ownership of their own music. He's a representation of like what ASAP Rocky, Kid Cudi, Travis Scott, but Kanye has birthed all of these artists and everything started with 808 and Heartbreaks. And I heard what I think was was a Kid Cudi which had a, a big influence on that album. So what we, we, we have to give Kid Cudi his flowers. I get it like because Kid Cudi is what he is. He's wearing these dresses and doing all of that fruity shit. I I don't stand behind the fruity shit that he's doing, but 
sonically, brah, sonically, Cuddy was there. And Cuddy was one of the people which created that masterpiece of an album, which is 808 and Heartbreak. So, I'm, I'm going to give him his flowers, but, you know, he has to stop that fruity shit. Music that they would have if they were independent. I mean, for many artists near and on the level of Kanye popularity was, there is really no purpose in having all of the forces in the music Ooh. industry taking pieces away from the Kanye pie you daddy. make, and I think in the future, we may see some other mass of artists follow in Kanye's footsteps of for course. this reason. So of overall course. right now, whether you are Kanye West's biggest fan or his biggest hater, he has taken a massive victory over the music industry, and during the next yummy, few yummy, months, yummy. as Ye rolls out and releases Vultures 2 and 3, yeah. it'll be even more interesting to see if he can continue to set new precedents or if the industry will find a way to take back the control that he is pulling away from them. No, now I don't think so. I think the only problem that he has right now is the problem with the sampling. So if he can fix that then i think he's gonna be fine but anyway guys like comment and share if you want to see more videos like this and i'll see you in the next video a bam <laughs>